Okay, and you have a challenge, so that's the next step. What's your challenge, Eric? So my challenge right now is finishing on time. I recently got some client work that's gonna take me away indefinitely, and so I need to get this job done. That might mean we need to take a phase off like the accent wall, but our challenge is getting this done uh, on a sooner timeline than we thought we were building last week. Okay, and let's talk about the current condition. This is week five, so just go back four weeks and tell me what has happened over the last four weeks. Yeah, well, remember the last couple of weeks, uh, the, the PPC, our percent plan complete of, of what we thought we were gonna get done wasn't very good. Um, we had a, a couple challenges come come up and uh, some conflicts that, that really got us an average around like 25%. Wasn't very good um, as we learned what the work should look like. What's your next target condition? Because that's kind of critical here. And we talk about the difference between a target and a target condition. A target might be improved PPC to this number. A target condition might be so the target condition for last week was reporting in daily. What did you expect to happen for your experiment? Did you expect to hit every day? My last step was to report out my progress from the day. One day? Each day. Each day, so five days. What did you expect to happen? Well, I thought it'd be pretty easy just to create a recording and, and share it. Did you expect to hit all five days? Going into it, I thought it would be no problem to hit all five days. Okay, that was your expectation. What actually happened? So how did you do? The second and third day, I, I found myself um, struggling with it a little bit because it affected how I was thinking about the work to report out to, if that makes sense. I hit five for five yeah. with my report out. Okay, so what did you learn? And I guess this is where we talk about between what you expected and what actually happened. If there was a gap anywhere in there, that's called learning. So what did you learn? I learned that it was harder to do than I initially thought going into it. I also learned that um, it helped. It was, a, it was some type of motivator for me to complete my work because I knew I couldn't leave it. Uh, like an example is I, I made sure to broom sweep my room. So I was done done before I created my video. So there was some behavioral uh, drivers with using that report out uh, practice. Just to yeah, I took I took I took the meaning of the work a little bit more differently, particularly with like what it looked like when I was done. Does that represent my activity tag that um, I planned? Next week, you're planning on reporting in daily, but you're going to build in whether you did your four hours on top of your uh, deliverables getting accomplished. Yes. Great. What do you think will happen by next week when we meet? Well, I'm hoping actually that more work gets done. Honestly, more work getting done and 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 I fall I believe I can follow through with the reporting and and the hours management's what's going to be interesting because I'm going to have to keep from doing the next day's work um, if I run out of stuff to do. And so maybe that is going to demonstrate I need to create a workable backlog. A healthier workable backlog to use. Okay, Eric, thank you very much. This is the coaches. Coach. With George Strachillis and Eric Lucis. Right on. Toyota Kata. It's a pattern all the way. <laughs>